This Uber Eats driver is an idiot. I'm Brian with Bulldog Delivers. Let's hit it. I don't order food delivery or grocery delivery very often, uh, mainly because of the expense of it, because I'm usually the one that's working out there. But, you know, once in the blue moon, I do it just for convenience, but also to see how other people are doing it. I hold myself to very high standards, so I expect others to as well. But knowing that they don't do everything that I do, I understand, so I kind of ease off a little bit, and I just try to see what they do. And the other night, I did an Uber Eats order, and this happened. Yeah, the guy left the food right in front of the door so I couldn't open it. Now, let's take a look at the picture that he sent. Now you can see very clearly on this picture that he sent that that door handle up there tells you which way that door is going to open. He probably has a door like that, right? Or has been through enough doors in his life to do that. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I've done videos about stuff like this before. And this is why you see nasty grams in your delivery notes, because of people like this. I was furious. And I'm like, okay, I understand everybody does it a little differently, but this is just plain stupid. One of the things I constantly talk about is communication. You should communicate with your customer, whether you're doing grocery delivery or food delivery. Communication is key. And I can't tell you how many times Over and over and over again, I have received higher tips that were related to my communication. I tell the customer when I arrive at the restaurant. I tell them when I'm leaving. I give them an ETA. And then when I get there, I send a picture. Of course, the app prompts you a lot of times. And then I do, your order is delivered. Thank you very much. Have a great night. And the main reason you want to communicate with your customer is not everybody keeps their phone in their hands at all times. They could be busy cleaning up after their dog or the kids need attention or they're taking care of an elderly parent. There could be any number of things that would keep them from being glued to their phone. So you want to make sure you at least knock or ring the doorbell unless the instructions tell you not to. This guy didn't do any of that. He didn't even knock on the door or ring the doorbell. And there were no instructions not to. So he just took the picture and ran. Here, let's take a look. I strongly, for the sake of your ability to earn a living, strongly encourage you to not do any of the stuff that this guy did other than show up at the right house. One day last week, I also ordered Uber Eats. Same thing. There wasn't a knock at the door, no ring of the doorbell, no communication from the driver. Just drop and run. Now, yes, the app does tell you that You know, your order is on its way and it gives you an estimated time and you can even track them on the map as to where they are. Now, it was funny because in this case of the other night, I was following it both on my phone and on my desktop computer. The information I was getting from both of those devices were completely different. The desktop computer actually was showing him where he was. He was showing him on my street and rounding the corner. But the phone app was still showing him three miles away. So it was just a little crazy. Plus the desktop version told me what kind of car he was driving and the license plate number. The app did not. And I did get a picture of the delivery about 10 minutes after he had dropped it off. Of course, I knew he was there because my ring doorbell notified me that somebody was at the door. And that's when I saw it. And obviously you just saw that too. Another thing that no driver has ever done is carry an insulated bag for their food. I do it every time. That, too, has paid off time and time and time again in higher tips. I'll give you an example. I just did a big order on Saturday, a beachfront uh, tourist uh, that was visiting. And it was, I mean, I literally filled three of my 
big Arctic Zone bags. And it, the guy was really, really happy, and he increased the tip from 10 bucks to 15 bucks. So that was good. So my whole point in all of this, do not leave money on the table. Communicate with your customer and deliver in insulated bags because people have cameras on their houses nine out of 10 times and they are probably watching you. So why would you miss that opportunity for bigger tips and a good rating? Now I had tipped this driver pretty well up front, but I ended up having to give him a bad rating and I pulled two thirds of the tip back because it was just that bad. I'm sorry, I probably should have zeroed it out. I didn't have the heart to zero it out, although I know I would have been justified, but you know, I had to give him something for gas anyway, just to get from the restaurant to my house. But, oh my gosh, that was just awful. And he did get a thumbs down on that with an explanation, too. Please be sure to like this video and welcome again to the new subscribers. Great to have you here. And all of you who have been with me over the past year, thank you very much. I value every single one of you. And I want to see everybody do well. I'm Brian with Bulldog Delivers. Until next time, go get them.